partira à 9h17. Nous vous invitons pour votre sécurité à ne pas laisser vos bagages sans surveillance et à signaler tout colis et objets abandonnés. and today we are in Albi, which is a beautiful city in the Tarn département in the Occitanie region here in southwestern France. We've got the Tarn River right behind us and we're going to visit a lot of cool stuff today. The city is really beautiful, known for its red brick. Albi is a great day trip destination from the city of Toulouse and is about an hour's train ride away. We visited in autumn and the colors were absolutely lovely, even during a cloudy day. So, like many other places in France, Albi is known for its history. Right now we're at a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is the Palais de la Berbie. And Berbie actually comes from an Occitan word meaning bishop and this is, was an archbishop's palace. You can see here it was a 13th century palace. I used and I had some fortifications as well and you can also see the cathedral behind us. It's one of the oldest palaces in France, even older than the Palais des Papes in Avignon. A classical French garden with hedges now stands in the place of the armory. Check it out for a gorgeous view of the River Tarn. The other half of Albi's Episcopal city is La Cathédrale Sainte-Cécile, which is the largest brick cathedral in the world. Its southern French Gothic architecture style is no doubt an impressive sight, but you'll also want to check out the inside as well to see the ornately painted walls and the grand organ. You'll also want to take a stroll through the tiny little streets to see the medieval timbered houses. After wandering the little streets, why not take a walk down the Berge du Tarn, along the banks of the river, to see the Vieux Pont, the old bridge, which was built in the year 1040. I'd say that's pretty old. For lunch, I'd recommend the restaurant La Bonne Maison. The food was local, delicious, it came out pretty quickly, and our server was friendly as well. So, remember Le Palais de la Berbie? There's actually an art museum inside, and it's filled with art from post-impressionist painter Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec, who was born in Albi. You'll probably recognize his work from cabaret posters in Paris. In the gift shops, you'll find many gastronomical souvenirs from canned cassoulet to violet candies, as well as other artisan goods. Before you go, don't forget to stop by the Cloître saint soli for another lovely garden and church. Thank you so much for joining us on this little tour of Albi. À la prochaine.